Here are some fast algorithms that you guys need to give a try. So this video will be split into two sections. One of them is for you normal people, which most of these algorithms I think are RUF that I'm gonna show. And then the other section is for us absolute chads that use S moves. So we have a whole section for S move algs. So yeah, let's get onto it. So the first case I'll be going over is this F2L case with the corner that looks like this and then the edge being right here, which is not oriented. So most of the time I see people either do, I see people pair the pieces up like this and then either rotate and insert into the back or insert with S move or F moves. And while that is pretty fast, there is a faster way to do it. And that is just from, from here, from normal F, sexy f prime insert and it's really fast so try it out see if you like it it's it's more efficient at least so yeah next case so for the next f2l case it's actually this case so it it's actually this case that's really good except it's um oriented bad here wait let me yeah, so it's like this. And I usually see, and for a while I was, I did this myself. I usually see people rotate and solve it into the back, like so. Um, but there is a better way to do that. And it's actually doing M prime and then solving the pieces like this. So you can do, you can pair these two up like that. And now you have a big block and then you can go here and do R U two R prime, or when you're when you're here, you can do that, which isn't better in this case, but still, it's extremely, it's extremely. Let me set it up again. It's extremely fast once you get the hang of it, and yeah. So the rest of these cases are going to be last layer, pretty much, and. The first one we'll be talking about is this awkward shape, which I see people usually do this algorithm. And it's cool. It's not particularly great because this F prime or this F2 at the end makes it like you have or you have this, you have an E perm and you have to go Wait, it's usually like this. You have to go here and you have to immediately reset. And well, if you, it's worse if you do the E perm with the rotation because then you have to reset to that, which is bad. We'll talk about the E perm without a rotation later, but the actual best algorithm is actually the wide move one, which you do from this angle and it goes like this. And it's actually, if I can do it right, it's actually really fun to spam this algorithm too. But it's extremely fast. It, I actually like the awkward shape algs because they're pretty ergonomic. But yeah, let's move on. So the next case we'll be talking about is this line with two big bars on each side. So... The thing about this case is the sheer number of algorithms that people recommend for this case. I've seen people recommend this one. Which, I mean, it's it's pretty good. And then I've seen people recommend this one as well, which I also think is really good. Which, I mean, oh, wait. I just did the wrong one. But... Yeah, it's pretty good. But the best one, in my opinion, is this algorithm. And I've seen so many different ways to finger trick it. But in my opinion, this might be the best one, unless I discover a new one. And it goes like this. You're going to regrip here. So it'll be... The regrip doesn't take that much time. 
if you can, if you drill this algorithm. Yeah. So moving on to a couple of PLLs, I want to talk about this NA perm real quick. So I've seen a lot of excuses as to why the setup to J perm is good, and it's it's cool. It's it's so many moves. Like usually, like I don't know. I use this long F perm, but it makes up for it all the moves with how fast it is. But the setup to J perm isn't even that fast. There's this end perm, which is better, and it's able to be executed quicker, and it has less moves, and if you if you drill it, it's less prone to locking up, because if you have a J perm, you're ten, you tend to spam TPS, but yeah, goes like this. It's, it's really fast if you don't, if you don't suck, but yeah, there it is. Now, real quick, I want to talk about Z perms. And the reason I want to talk about Z perms is because it's hilarious because you have the normal Z perm. Well, two of the normal Z perms that everyone uses. One of them is like, which is really fast. And then there's also this extremely underrated Z perm that nobody should ever use in their life, but it's really fun. Yeah, but um, the two that I would recommend that are like actually good, again, use whatever Z perm you want. There's not really a bad Z perm besides two U perms, which, you know, I don't know why I did it like that, but... Yeah, these are the two best Z perms. One, they're just the inverse of each other. So the first one goes like this. And trust me, it's faster to do the M moves. This is with M prime. And that's just because you're overworking your fingers. So, yeah. And then the inverse is actually faster, in my opinion. But, yeah. Z perm. Now, last but not least, I want to make it known that usually doing the rotation in an E-perm is kind of dumb unless you finger trick it like that, but I don't really like it. Like, I've seen a lot of people do that, so, like, if you have, oh, man, let's just say you have this OLL into an E-perm. So, when you do the OLL the way most people do it, you immediately have to go switch you have to go to here and go to here which is kind of hard to do especially like if you're like here it's kind of bad so people need to know this eperm without a rotation which honestly i think is better than the first one but yeah instead of a rotation it's a regrip and a regrip is faster than a rotation so yeah so it goes like this And again, it's extremely consistent. It's so fast. So, yeah, that concludes the segment of the normal people. I encourage you to stay for the S moves because the algorithms that you can get with S moves are really, really, really fast. So, yeah, I guess on to S moves. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, the first F2L case that I want to talk about is this one here with connected pairs and they both kind of suck so i've seen a whole bunch of ways this is done so i've seen people do this which is one of the worst ways i've ever seen because like it's it's slow i forgot what to do it's not good and i've also seen people do something like sledge u insert which isn't terrible it's it's still not good, but it's not terrible. So the best way you actually can utilize S moves, and it's really, really fast. So you put it here, 
and then you do s prime and you pair it you move this corner here and then when you slice back they pair up so you can see yeah then you just do ru2 r prime so like it's it's extremely fast if you can finger trick it Wait. yeah and you can actually use one of the inverses which i will set up now so you have this and you can do literally pretty much the same thing that you show that i just showed which normally people will do normally people will do that to pair it up and then insert into the back that sucks don't do it this is better trust me so you do r u r prime and then like normal instead of u2 and inserting you can just do s r u2 r prime it's so much faster to just pair it up that way yeah okay so i've seen a whole bunch of ways this can be done and so like i've seen i've seen i think it's from here i've seen that which is terrible compared to these two i've seen that which is actually in my opinion like really really good because you can it's the whaling's fault it's not my fault you can execute it really fast but i encourage you guys to try this algorithm which i think is extremely underrated i don't know if i'll switch to it yet i need to continue testing it but it goes like this So if I set it up again, you'll see you have to do it from this angle. And it's really... Okay, well, I forgot to do the S prime. But it's really fast. Okay, so I've seen a few ways to do this lightning shape, which is OLL11. I've seen this, which I also need to keep testing. Because it's really... If I can actually do it. It's really fast. But we're not here to look at that one. We're, we're here to look at this new one that I found. That I think is also pretty good. But I'll have to see if it's actually better than the first one that I just showed. So it goes like this. So as you can see, it's really fast i overshot that i smooth but yeah try it out now for this awkward shape which most people use the wide move algorithm which is okay and i've seen also some people use something like that it's not good don't don't use that please but um the wide move out like that it's uh, it's okay, but you can actually do a faster one again with S moves. So it goes like this: you just do S prime, sexy sledge, U S. Yeah. Enough said. 